Today is October 27th. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8. Then he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? How do the words deny yourself feel to you? Start your prayer today by thinking about the discipline of self-denial and do a bit of evaluating regarding yourself and how well you engage in this particular discipline. If you're like me, you may not be very good at it. Allow the Lord to search your heart for places where he is inviting you to deny yourself today. I often think how funny it is that we followers of Jesus love to read his words as metaphor. Ah, they may be thinking as they listen to him, take up our cross. Okay, that means we'll need to do some really difficult stuff. Imagine how they felt a few years later as they remembered these words when they watched Jesus stumble through the streets, beaten, and bloody, carrying his cross. Listen again and try to put yourself in their place. How would that moment of reality shift their metaphorical understanding of denying yourself? Then he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul?
whoever lives their life for me and for the gospel will save it. Let's recall, what is the gospel? How would you sum it up for yourself? If you can, take time to remind yourself of the gospel. And if you have trouble finding the words, then ask yourself this. How has the good news of Jesus changed my life today? And how can I live for him today? Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is love, the holy heart, a sacrifice. This is love, this is love.
This is love. This is love. 